Yeah, thank you guys for being here. Um, first of all, a young man lost his life last weekend. We think it is important to make sure that we do not forget about that as we discuss this tragedy. We sympathize with the community and our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of the young man who passed away. I felt sadness and disappointment upon learning about the situation that morning. Within our program, we, pe we preach about the importance of representing the institution, our community, and themselves the right way. Unfortunately, the decisions that Mike made last weekend result resulted in consequences that he will have to live with the rest of his life. With that, Mike Peak is still part of our family. In this family, we care for each other. We love each other, and right now, he needs us more than ever. We do not currently have an update on his status, but right now the focus regarding Mike is on his recovery. At this time, I cannot speak about the events that took place that night as they are part of an ongoing police investigation. I also know that there was a 90-minute press conference last week, and not much has changed since then, so I can't add much more to the discussion. Regarding the discipline of any of the student athletes, I cannot disclose how many players have been disciplined, which players have been disciplined, or the nature of the discipline. I will say we found out we had multiple players out the rooms that night, and we're now confident each of our players fully understands what's expected of them going forward. Beyond that, I really can't speak on this topic. To close, we're glad we were able to get back to some normalcy this past weekend, and right now our main focus is on getting better and winning basketball games. At this time, I will only be answering questions related to basketball. All right, so the folks that are present, uh, if you guys want to ask questions, feel free to go ahead. And then those of you that are joining us via Zoom, I'll give you an opportunity to ask questions following the people that are here. I know you said you can't talk much on, on Mike's condition, but is he still in hospital or was he out of hospital? Uh, no comment. Coach, how are you holding up? Tell us how you're doing through all of this. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm trying my best. Uh, yesterday was probably as sick as I've ever been, and it's been a, a rough week. And I'm um, you know, trying to do my best to, to lead the program in, in, the, in the right direction and, and stay positive. Um, you know, but it, it's definitely been a rough week. What changes? I mean, obviously, you guys played over the weekend um, in Vegas. And you, you kind of alluded to it a little bit in your opening. What kind of changes have you made just in the last week or so to kind of prevent guys from you know, breaking curfew? And just like I asked Mario this yesterday, but kind of just what things did you do in Vegas to kind of institute like just a little bit more like you know? We we had around the clock surveillance on the floors, and um, you know we had no issues. More broadly, have you? change just the way you operate your program? Like, has, that, has this, these events led to any, did you lay out any changes to Mario and administration following this incident, like, that you're gonna implement moving forward? Yes, we did immediately. You, you don't wanna lay those out, or, or? I'm not gonna comment on that. Uh, I guess just, uh, how has the team been, uh, you know, reacting to the events so far? Uh, it's been tough. Um, I've, you know, they're, I thought they responded the right way when we went to play, uh, San Diego. Um, I know they're, they're, they're trying every day to, um, you know, we're keeping Mike in our hearts and our prayers and how we want to rally, you know, use it as a rallying tool, um, to help our team, um, grow and, um, you know, that's kind of where we're at. You know, you said Mike is obviously with the team, not not physically with the team, but like still on the team. I mean, do you anticipate that being the case for a while, or like do you think that'll change at some point? Uh, I really don't. I'm really not going to comment on that at this point. You guys obviously have a big game on, on Wednesday, the Battle of I-10 uh, against UTEP. How are you kind of making sure that the team's able to focus on that game at hand rather than everything that's going on in the outside world right now? 
Well, we can only worry about the things that we can control. And, um, you know, getting back to playing games has is, is been a, a positive. And obviously we, we have a get the, you know a rematch of a team that beat us in, in a, in a high-level game um, just a couple weeks ago. So um, I know they're excited to play, and um, especially to play at home in front of our fans. And we, um, it's been a little bit since we've played in front of our fans. I know they're excited to play in front of our fans. And, uh, you know, we just got to focus on the game plan and, and be ready to play. Cause it's a big game, and, and it's a, a must-win game for us. Right or wrong, I think that they're, for the, your season, this will, I mean, this will be a part of it. It'll, and I think outside people will be curious of, you know, what's going on with it for the entire season. In your opinion, just, I guess, or what would you say to, like, people about maybe the rest of the team who maybe had nothing to do with what happened that night in terms of, you know, this is, as you said, it's not a reflection of the entire team. I mean, just what would you, I guess, what would you say to people who maybe think it is a reflection of the entire team? Well, I, I, I would say that, you know, in life, when, when, you have, when you're part of a family and somebody in the family makes a mistake, um, you know, sometimes everybody in the family is looked upon because of their mistake. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of guys that, that did do the right things. And, um, you know, we're all suffering because of, of the mistake that was made. And, um, you know, that's, that's life. Uh, just, I guess how do you move forward from this? Well, we move forward by taking it one day at a time and taking it one game at a time, taking it one play at a time, and, uh, you know, and communicating with these guys about, you know, what our culture is about. It's about doing the right things, acting the right way, playing the right way. And we got to keep talking to them about that because, uh, they, you know, they are 18 to 23-year-old young men and – um, so you got to continue to preach about the culture and what our culture is about, and um, and that's what we're going to do. Just you know, one day at a time, one play, um, and one game, and just build on that. You mentioned the fans before. Is there anything you want to say to them, who the loyal supporters who might be right now questioning whether they want to come and support this team? Yeah, um, you know. We love it. We we love Aggie Nation, and our fans have been unbelievable since the day that we've arrived here. And um, you know, I'm I'm apologetic about what happened. I take full responsibility for what happened, and we're going to continue to get better as a basketball team and put a great product on the court and um, on the court and off the court. And just you know, I I take full responsibility for for what happened, and that's. You know, I can't say anything more than that. Did yeah. No, I was. Did you want to go to Zoom first? Or? No, go ahead. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, just in terms of the UTEP game, um, but obviously playing them, you know, about two or three weeks ago, just the you know, how different have they looked, and how different do you feel like you guys can potentially play against them, you know, at home on tomorrow. Yeah, they're they're just they're a gritty, grimy, tough uh, defensive team. Um, they make every they challenge every pass. Uh, they give you a lot of resistance on the defensive end. Every single possession, nothing is easy. Uh, you got to be strong with the ball. You got to uh, you know you're you're going to get contact at the rim. You're going to have to finish through contact. Uh, they they. Uh, they're an, an elite defensive team, and um, you know we have to get, we have to take care of the ball. We have to rebound the ball at at um, a high level, and we have to finish through contact and um, be tough with the ball. Um, all things that we've been working on ever since the last time that we played UTEP. I think the last time we played UTEP, I learned a lot about our team. That was the first real resistance that we got. Um, and I learned a lot about our team, and uh, you know, we, we just hopefully we can see the improvements we've made tomorrow night. As far as replacing Peak on the court, we played in Vegas over a couple weekends. Are, 
can you talk about some of the guys is that going to be like your rotation at least you know tomorrow and moving forward yeah, we you know we started Doc Bradley and uh, Chichi Avery played some there. Um, I'm going to move Issa Muhammad uh, to some four and and um, you know play him with JB and Shaq and and go a little bit bigger. Uh, but uh, yeah, that it's kind of and and you know we played four guards too, and that was probably our most effective lineup was um, uh, Penson, uh, Washington, Gordon, Roy, and um, either Muhammad. Uh, JB or or Shaq, so uh, you know, with the with our style of play and um, we can go big, we can go small there. But uh, a lot of it's going to have to do with our opponent, um, to whether we play big or play small. And sometimes we'll make our opponent match up to us. Um, you know, that four guard lineup was was really good out in Vegas, and um, it was a very it was a plus, a big plus for the weekend. So uh, that's something that I know we can go to moving forward. Last question I have, just, you know, last time you guys were at the Don Haskins Center, your team, you know, learned a lot about themselves. I guess, obviously, it's going to play an advantage playing here at home. I guess just um, how is the team going to approach defending the uh, home court? Well, I think, you know, last time we played at home, we played really well. And um, I know these guys love to play here in the Pan Am, and they love to practice in the Pan Am. It's, you know, when we have to practice in the practice gym because the floor is down, uh, they're not as excited to practice. They, they love that arena. And so, you know, I expect them to come out with, a, uh, you know, a ton of energy and um, a ton of passion. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to, to get back and play a home game in front of our home fans and, you uh, I think they're going to respond the right way. Any more questions? Is coach, is there a Kim Aiken update? Uh, I have no update on Kim Aiken. Cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and toss it over to you guys on Zoom. Uh, if you have a question, please either comment or use the raise hand feature. Greg, I'll jump in. Um, it's Jeff from the Albuquerque Journal. Uh, I'm curious if you have met Sean Harrington. I know he's going to be in town for the game, but if you have any plans to have Sean Harrington talk to the team this week. Yeah, I've met Sean. I've known Sean, and he's a great guy. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, he's by at practice today, and he'll get an up. You know, I'd love for him to have an opportunity to speak to the team. Um, he's, he was here this summer when the TBT team was here, and he came to practice, and um, I spent a bunch of time with him. And uh, what a wonderful, wonderful man, and um, would love for him to speak to our team. Is obviously not as it relates specifically to the incidents or as best you can um, address this without um, talking about that, I suppose. Have any players or parents or guardians come to you um, expressing their concern and, and the assurances that you may need to give them that what happened in Albuquerque last weekend, um, whatever extent that NMSU had control over whatever happened, um, have you had to give any assurances to parents or guardians or players concerned about what happened that night that it won't happen again? Uh, we we uh, communicated with parents and guardians uh, as uh, soon as was as soon as possible, and just you know communicate with them, let them know that their son was okay, and answered any questions. But um, you know, it was all positive. Thank you. Any other questions from the Zoom portion? Yes, um, hopefully you guys can hear me. This is Brianna here with KOAT. Thank you again so much for uh, conducting this presser. Uh, Coach, I wanted to ask, uh, will there be any changes to the athletic department, especially when it comes to those curfew um, issues? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I mean, there already has been changes. I mean, we're we had curfew and we you know we had the the floor surveillance around the clock so um that's definitely a change and um but like i said we had no issues in vegas